of last year. I don't think anyone gave you too much of a chance and you proved them all wrong. How do you go about shocking the world again? I think I haven't uh, shocked the world yet. <laughs> um, but first of all, I want to thank everybody here uh, for coming up, for coming here, for making this happen. Every single one here, all the promoters here. I also want to thank um, uh, His Excellency, my brother, Tuki Alasher. I want to thank uh, AJ for also being part of this. You know, as I said, he always takes two to tango. So thank you for being here and for making this happen. Um, but uh, to answer your question, um, I really think I haven't shocked the world. You know, I'm still uh, in the factory building, you know, training, learning. And I think um, when I really going to get it, I think that's where the world going to be shocked. I'm just working, building, and learn uh, about the sport, you know, the sport that I love my entire life, but didn't have the opportunity to really do it and gain some experience. And uh, it's just now that I'm really, like, having that, uh, uh, working on that experience. And uh, I think I can, I'm going to put something really, really nice. I can put something. I trust the process. I trust my team, the work that we are putting in, you know, so... It's going to pay off. You know, I, I was going to say, I, was, I didn't give the outfit as much credit as it deserved. Usually it's uh, Eddie Hearn coming up here with the, with the flary outfits, but I have to commend you on that outfit, Francis. It's, uh, it's fantastic. It's fit for a press conference like this. Knockout chaos, let me tell you. That's a knockout outfit. Now, uh, we saw you, you spending a lot of time. Thank you very much. It's my, it's my, my, my sponsor, Jim Shark, who make, make it for me with the... Um, uh, special designer. I can't pronounce the name though, but... <laughs> Send me the link. Yeah. I'm not sure my arms but are filling it out. No. <laughs> look, looking up to their boy, so trying to make me look good out here. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Now, we saw you spending a lot of time hitting the, the body bag in yesterday's workout. Is that giving us a clue into your, into your game plan come Friday? Excuse me? We saw, a, we saw you hit the body bag for a long time in your open workout. Is that giving us a little bit of a clue into your, uh, into your game plan on Friday? Everything is a clue. I mean, I have uh, every space that I have an opening, I'm going to hit. So don't you worry about where is the key or the clue. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to let any stone unturned and any opportunity uh, on this plot. No we heard Joseph Parker speak about being happy, being active. I mean, AJ has been extremely active in the last 11, 12 months. What did you make of his performance in December? Between uh, AJ? Yeah, AJ. AJ performance. Well, no, he's, uh, he was a flawless performance. Flawless performance. He was a great performance. I watched that fight closely. Um, you know, but uh, for me, that doesn't uh, do anything because I know I'm not willing. I know it's going to be a different round. It's going to be a different opening, a different feeling. You know, we all, um, when, we get, when we get in the ring, that's when you know the fight. And then when there is a, um, um, a counter, a, a reaction in front, the fight can be very different, you know. But when there is not a reaction, the fight can also be very different. We spoke about action. Ben Davison, AJ's trainer, said you'll struggle to do 10 rounds with AJ at the pace he's willing to fight. What do you respond to that? Yes, that's true. I will struggle to do 10 rounds. I struggle to do 10 rounds. And if anybody doesn't struggle to do 10 rounds, then you are something else. You are not human. You know, I'm human. Everybody gets tired after 10 rounds, you know. So that's right. I'm struggling. And, and I have no problem with it because I'm, it's a learning process. I'm sure to learn. And uh, I struggle for the t first, uh, first fight. Um, who was against Tyson Fury. And in fact, I was in that fight questioning myself, like, what would happen if I, when I get in the fourth round? How would I feel? Because i never been in the professional fight, a boxing match for four rounds, for six rounds, eight rounds. Then that was 10 rounds. So yes, I did struggle. But I think he struggled as well. Maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's sat in the front row here at the press site, he's smiling away, he's grinning, not giving anything away. And maybe that is a fight that we'll see in the future again. Who knows? Now, if you get the victory on Friday, will that be your greatest ever achievement in combat sports? I know you've done so much in the MMA world, but would this top it all off? Well, um, yeah, he will, be the, he will be the best so far. But as I said, 
I'm just getting started. So um, I'm really looking for the victory of Friday night, but I don't think that will be uh, making any statement of my career because the road is still long and, I still, and I'm really intending to gain a lot of major victory like this. One over Tyson, one more over Tyson. Because I, have the f I, I had the first one over him. I'm intending to have the second one. <laughs> and he's been bitching about it, which is true. I just, I just hope I'm not in the middle of these two. If they start going at it, let me tell you. <laughs> You're going to sleep in the octagon again, and I'm going to wipe the, the, the ring with your, with, you, with your ass again. <laughs> you wipe the ring with your ass. There was the blood in the ring. It's taking your pants. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It's really heating up in here now. He's really heating up in here now. France is going to give you a chance to respond. I'm going to ask you the next question. I have already told you, I tell you, your only chance is in the ring, in the boxing ring with the boxing rules. When you step off or that ring, you better stay five meters away before I stuck your shit. Because if I lose it, you're going to have a really bad time, my friend. So. They respect the fact that boxing is protecting you, us, and the rules of boxing is protecting us. Because out of that, without that, you are nothing in front of me. I will beat. I beat you every day, twice on Sunday. It's the it's the Saturdays you got to worry about. <laughs> Let's keep it on the uh, well, we on the fight big, at hand. We got a big fight here Saturday, and these Friday. Friday. Sorry, Friday. 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 We got a big fight, and the fact of the matter is, the man's here, lineal champion, and I expect him to be the undisputed number one after the 18th of May. And you've got it all to go for. Here's, here, here is the opportunity for the big prize. That's it, to get the opportunity to fight the man. And that's what you're all here for. And I would save everything, as you've correctly said to me, for Friday. Because that's what all matters. That's all that matters. That's all matters. It's all that matters. The Friday night knockout of chaos. The man in the front row is the prize. Now, Francis, how much belief, because it feels like you have, you've gained a lot of belief from your performance against Tyson Fury. Win, lose, or draw, however you see it. How, how much does that feel you going into this fight against Anthony Joshua? Okay, so just to make this clear, last time we spoke before the fight, I didn't believe in myself. No, no, no. I think I always believe in myself. You know, um, the reason why I'm here is because I always believe in myself. And doesn't matter the circumstances, doesn't matter the obstacle in front of me, I believe in myself. That doesn't mean that I control the outcome, you know. I believe in the fact that I'm going to go out there and do my best, and I cannot control the outcome. And whatever the outcome is, I'm going to take it, you know. But I believe in the... Um, in my determination, in my dedication. I believe in the work that I put in order to have what I want. And that's what um, built my confidence, you know. So I always believe in myself, always. And uh, even though sometimes it doesn't work, but I still believe in myself. I had a great training camp. Uh, everything went well. We all uh, spent a good time. And then we are two days out of a fight. We have a good training. Uh, everything was uh, perfect. So there's not a reason not to believe. I know that if I go out there and do my best, there's a big chance that I will go out there with the victory, and I'm going out there for that victory, and I'm going to let everything in that ring on Friday night to come out with a victory. No doubt. Now, it's time that we bring in Francis Ngannou's longtime trainer, Dewey Cooper. Dewey, you've lost the element of surprise, as it were. Have you done anything different in this camp than you did uh, for your fight against Tyson Fury? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say salam alaikum to your ecstasy, to Gala Sheikh and the kind, beautiful people here in Saudi Arabia. Happy Eid Mubarak as you embark into your Ramadan uh, in a few days. Fighting Tyson Fury, his first fight, was a magnificent challenge. Very complex, highly dimensional boxer. He assimilated so much information from that fight. Of course he's ready for two nights away from now. Of course he's ready for Anthony Joshua. Of course he's going to show vast improvements in every aspect. Speed, power, conditioning, fight IQ. So just expect 
an exemplary performance from Francis Ngannou on March 8. The flaming, ferocious fists of Francis will finish Anthony Joshua. There we go. My, my next question was, do you really believe that your man can stop Anthony Joshua? I think you've answered it just then. I just said it. The flaming, ferocious, furious fists of Francis will in fact finish Joshua. There we go. I couldn't say it <laughs> better myself. Now, Eddie, and previously, at the, at, the, at the very start of all this, was, was critical of Francis's boxing credentials before he saw him fight. Now, how much extra satisfaction would that be winning on Friday? Uh, every That's fight. Usury. Every fight, important um, in this process to try and regain the World Heavyweight Championship is what he wants to do. This is a fight that came out of nowhere. Francis throughout his achievements in mixed martial arts, earned the right to step up on the big stage. Thought he performed excellently against Tyson Fury and earned the right to fight any heavyweight in the world. I mean, it's quite remarkable that on his professional debut, he fought Tyson Fury, and in his second fight, he's fighting Anthony Joshua. Um, you know, it's, it's a remarkable run as a, as a fighter, um, and it's a real challenge. But as I said, I don't see any aspect that Francis is better than Anthony in. However, he's strong, he's powerful, and he's dangerous. So Ben and Lee will keep AJ disciplined, and he'll do what he does, and that's perform. And I think this is the best Anthony Joshua we've ever seen in his career. The sharpest he's been, the most confident he's been, the calmest he's been, and he's done it all in his career. He's fought all styles. Um, you know, he's, he's boxed everywhere under all conditions. Madison Square Garden, Wembley Stadium, Millennium Stadium, all around Britain, twice. In, in Riyadh now, three times in Riyadh, once in Jeddah. I mean, there isn't any moment, any style he hasn't experienced in his sport. He's now an experienced fighter, and that will be the difference on Friday night. But we respect these guys, they're real. And AJ knows that as well, and he's trained accordingly and, and ready to show the world that, as I said, I believe he's the best heavyweight on the planet. It's time to bring in Ben Davison, trainer of Anthony Joshua. Now, it feels like you guys, Ben, have, have really gelled over the past few months. Uh, it seems like that everything you do seems to be working. Uh, how has it been working with him on a day-to-day -day basis? You see him, you know, in the nuts and bolts, the grind day-to-day -day in the gym. Yeah, he's a pleasure to work with. He's the ultimate professional. Um, and he loves, he loves boxing. So obviously that, that drives us. We're passionate about boxing. He's passionate about boxing. And um, it makes for an enjoyable, enjoyable partnership. Now, there's been talk this week in the build-up of resilience uh, and a little bit about heart. I mean, you see him every single day. How would you respond to those critics? We're going to find out on Friday. <laughs> oh, man, a few words. I like it. It's, it's, it's strong words as well. Now, you've spoken about this 10-round fight and Ngannou potentially struggling to fight at that pace. Is that, is that the key? Is it push the pace, tire him out and hurt him late? I just think, you know, there's probably a false sense of confidence taken from the, the previous fight that he had. I think it's going to be a completely different situation. We've prepared for him um, respectfully, professionally. And I think, um, you know, same as everybody. Nobody knew what to expect last time. Nobody knew, you know, everybody, being honest, was slightly dismissive. Now we know that's not the case. Um, and I think, I think, you know... Yes, you can say there was a lot of experience to have taken last time, but I still think it's going to be a whole new experience. Do you feel like I asked Dewey about losing the element of surprise? Do you feel like that's, a, uh, I guess, a, a confidence booster, uh, a, a bonus that you've now seen 12 rounds of Francis Ngannou in a boxing ring to study? Yeah, to a degree, but I think Dewey's an experienced coach, and I think that to think that he's only got one layer to his game would, would again be underestimating him and we've not done that so um, we're prepared for him to, to have some new layers to his game um, and again we're going to find out on Friday but we're very well prepared no doubt thanks for your time now it's time to bring in Anthony Joshua former two time heavyweight champion of the world Anthony we just heard from Ben how has it been being back in camp with, with, with Ben? It feels like you, you two have got a real good bond. You two, you two get each other. God is good. Life is good. No complaining. Had a f about 10 days off, get straight back to basics, get back on the grind. God is good. We're happy. Now, you're coming off the back of a, an incredible performance uh, in December. What can we expect to see come Friday night? 
Come on, give all us a little revealed. bit of insight into, into what's going through that mind. All well. be revealed, isn't it? Just straight up war, relentlessness, good fight. And uh, that's, what, that's what everyone's here for, a good fight. So, yeah, stay tuned if you're here. I appreciate everyone coming out. Much appreciated. His Excellency as well for putting this show on. And if you're at home, you know the score. Make sure you get a live on pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to get the pitch in, no doubt. Oh, yeah, I'm getting paid for this, bro. He's got pay-per-view points, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> there's obviously an, in, an incredible yeah. incentive for, this, for the winner of this fight. We're it's not just... looking past this fight. This is my main focus. Um, yeah, so the incentives and all that stuff, there's just to win. That's it. Just focus on my, on my game plan and what I've got to do. You know what, that makes sense. <laughs> I, 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 was hoping, I was hoping you'd give me, you'd give me a little juicy gossip. We need, we need a clip. We need something. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. He said he's got, he's got, he's got AJ's earpods. Everyone's asking what, what is playing what is in AJ's left earpod. What's on the playlist? Uh, let me see. Let me see what I've got for you people, yeah? Come on, this is, this is a question we all wanted answered. Uh, 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 listen to what we've got, right? You want to hear something? I don't know. I'll listen. You ready? <laughs> and he's actually connected now. <laughs> He's got some lyrics. You got some old school garage going on there. You know, is that what's going on in camp? Is that is that the mood? Is that the vibe? That the energy? Just music, music, music. I don't know why there's a big conspiracy of what I listen to on my airport. I don't know what the big deal is. Francis thought he sold it. Have you seen the Instagram video that Francis put up about what's going on, what's playing in your your earpod? No, what's he got playing on? What's, what you, you better ask him. I don't know. I was just listening. I found your airport and I was just <laughs> listening and it was playing a lot of nah, different nah, all stuff. All good, all good, all good. But uh, yeah, so back to the fight business. How do you prepare for someone like Francis Ngannou? We said you've seen 12 rounds of him. I've, I've seen interviews where you say you've studied him in the cage, his stand up. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's different than fighting a, y y your average boxer. Well, he's been boxing. His first dream was to be a boxer, which people forget. And he was part of the Cameroonian team. He started MMA, I think, was it 24 or 26? So that wasn't the first time he started hitting the heavy bag or hitting pads. He had been doing it from a young age. His dream was always to be a boxer. So I'm, I know what I'm up against. You know, I look at all these uh, small details, but I spar, I do my film study, all that type of stuff. I keep it professional, but on the nights, on the night, that's different. All that textbook stuff goes out the window, um, and you just got to be relentless. Give it your best. It's already written in the stars what's going to happen. I'm just going to follow my destiny. Do you ever feel that pressure to give always the, 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 to give always. One, number one perform? Obviously, everyone expects always. a certain level of you, but always. also to give the boxing fans, not just British boxing fans, yep. boxing fans, the fight they want. Obviously, there's a man over here. Yep. No, we're not talking about. But yep. you win, and that's the end goal. It's my of duty. Course it means yeah, it's our duty to do what we got to do. It's our duty to we work for these people out here. Do you know what I mean? These are the fights that they want to see. We're here to entertain them. So I feel the pressure. But that's the life, that's what I signed up to do. This is what I've devoted my life to do. So bring every challenge, every competition, and um, I'll step up to the plate. You know, I've been in the ring with Zhang. We've shared a ring before. I've shared the ring with Park I'm going to share the ring with uh, Francis. One day I'll share the ring with Tyson. The last fight I shared the ring with Wallin. Um, I signed to fight Baby Miller. I sparred Dubois. I'd been in with, I signed to fight Bronze Bomber. I'm serious about the game, it's just, it's just what we do. It's my duty to work for these guys and give them entertaining nights. That's true. I mean, Eddie said you've, you've seen every look in your time in, in, in boxing. Now, yeah. one look maybe you haven't seen is obviously Francis That's coming right. at you in the ring. He says he plans to knock you out. Go. Let's he's, go. he's looking for that shot. Let's go. Are you fighting fire with fire? 100%. Let's go. All right, this is, this, this the is best man will always here. win. It's not, it's not rocket science, as my boy Cena says. The best man will always win. Um, you know, it's not rocket science, isn't it? The best man will always win. But one of the main things I'm looking forward to is showing how good I am. And I think you've said before in interviews that people underestimate you. They Definitely. maybe don't give you the credit. Uh, you no, deserve. not the credit. I don't want the credit, but... You just want them to look at you and go, yeah, this, 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 this guy comes... No, I don't know. I don't know, but I just know... People find out when they're in the ring, innit? But we'll see. Friday will soon come. You're looking Friday will soon go. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the occasion. No doubt about it. Now, so do I. Let's go. Let's go. Have you got any, have you got any final words nah, for, for ask, each other? Because I know we've had, we've, it's, all, it's all been quite, nah. quite nice in the build-up. I was going to ask, is there any questions that anyone wants to ask? Because I know you guys have been sitting quietly. Is there any questions from the public? Anyone wants to ask any questions before you wrap up? Big Boss at the top. Yes, Africa's on the map. My next door neighbour, Cameroon. 
I see you all up there. The flags, everyone's looking amazing. Where's the guy? Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. That'll be good. It's going to be a good night. Any final words for Francis and going? You can keep the airport. <laughs> keep the airport. Thank you. Truly, I'll keep the playlist. Francis, final words for Anthony Joshua, the man that you're going to go face to face with Friday night. Well, good luck on Friday night. Respect. I'll see you there. Let's go. There we go, guys. That is all we have time for. Thank you very much. Any final words? I'm going to give you, Frank, Eddie, the last word here in this press conference. Um, look, it's going to be a marvelous night. Wherever you're watching the fight, you know, don't blink. It's going to be a great main event and obviously all the undercard, as we said, are fabulous fights. And I also want to just give a mention to George Warren and Spencer Brown for all the work they've also done behind them the scenes to make this such a success. Yeah, echo that. Tune in. Sat Friday night, don't forget, Friday night, live on the zone around the world. An incredible card, top to bottom. Good luck to both men. Good luck to all fighters on the card. Stay safe and God bless. No doubt, I think it's time for face-offs. Congratulations.